Dude, who, whoever some... Dude, what the fuck? What the actual fuck was that someone, all right? Uh, put the PC shot on. We've got Anibis. Uh, I don't even know. No. Listen, Tubby, I've donated my music before, so if you have dementia, that's on you. Anyway, here is the only show you need to watch that's informative, more informative than TCR, and he does find it. Turd Flinging Monkey. I've listened to Turd Flinging Monkey. I I don't know, man. I, I you know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I, he has a small following, and I get it, but I, I don't know. I, I, I don't really get it. I, I really don't get why people follow him, but, you know, this is the Internet, and I'm sure people follow him. So, anyway, here we go. Here we go. Put the PC shot on. What is this? All right, Anibis, put the PC shot on. What is this? First ever sex festival to be held in South Korea is canceled after Japanese porn stars due to attend feared they would be killed due to public... Look, I'll be honest with you. I don't like how every one of these stupid influencers try to use, like, these uh, headlines of, like, hey, like, this freak show shit happened over here, and I'm going to dedicate my whole show to this crap. I mean, that's fucking stupid. They're, 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 you know, people that do this are no different than fucking Don Lemon. I mean, what I do on the True Capitalist radio show is give people the news. And then what I do is try to gauge what, I, well, at least try to portray it or uh, articulate it in, in, in the most uh, simple way possible. Because, you know, the things I discuss on TCR are very complex. Uh, but I try to, you know, bare bones it down to be very simple for people to understand. And then I give my assessment. You know, I mean, I give you the news and then I give you my assessment. I mean, it's as simple as that. You know, so this is like, uh, I don't know, there's 11 minutes on probably one article about some triggering dumb shit. Outcry. So South Korea basically bans porn. And somebody tried to have a South Korean porn festival and, and invite these Japanese porn stars to, like, sign autographs and sell DVDs or something. And there were death threats against the... The Japanese porn stars, and they have. Is this really newsworthy? Is this even really something that we should even be talking? Who gives a shit? I mean, to be honest, I mean, I, I'm not a square, right? I'm not going to be like, oh, you know, ban porn stars or ban this or that. But if a country bans it, then why are you going to go and try to provoke it? I mean, this is why these fucking uh, jihadists. I mean, they, you want to know why jihadists are really jihadists? I mean, part of it is the religious mechanism that kind of, you know, indoctrinates them and puts them in this mindset. But it's because they don't want the women to take control. They don't want, I mean, they would kill themselves before women had any kind of influence. And as you can see, this is why I don't like tarred flinging monkey. Is because he's talking about, oh, look, oh, you know, porn and, you know, why even bring this up? Why even bring this up? I mean, you could get porn on the Internet. So, OK, South Korea goes and, and, and bans it and what people you're going to hold on. Just just play it. Just play it. Had to cancel the event. Because the people of South Korea are so anti-porn and anti-this. And, you know, uh, it says right here, authorities slammed the proposed uh, KXF, the fashion event, as morally harmful. And here's the, here's the chaser. South Korea has the lowest fertility rate in the entire world. Nobody's having babies. Uh, in now, I've heard Todd uh, Turn Flinging Monkey talk about how... The black element in this country is, I don't know, high criminalistic, high, you know, fucking whatever, whatever he talks about, fucking high STI rates, whatever. And yet here he is trying to suggest that, oh, South Korea has low fertility rates, so let's just anesthetize them with porn. Like that has helped America so much. That's why I don't fucking listen to this prick. 
I mean, if you're going to put a point of emphasis on porn being so important, you don't have a woman. And if you don't have a woman, then that means that you're either somebody who, I don't know, is asexual or you're homosexual. So I'm just saying. In South Korea. Just saying. So anytime a trad cuck, but anytime a trad cuck is like, oh, men aren't having babies because of pornography. We need to ban the porn and the sex dolls and the anime. And then, and then the guys and the girls will make the baby. Oh, oh, it all comes clear now, doesn't it? It all comes clear now. Anime and sex dolls is the modus operandi behind this stupid fucking article that he's exploiting here. Unfucking believable. This is why I don't fucking watch this piece of shit. Give me a break. And no, they are 180. And not to mention, he sounds like a retard. You know, he's like, I no, I, I thought I, I, you can tell he's trying to hide that fucking autistic, autistic uh, uh, speech impediment. Breeze from right. Now, m the entire Western world is having a demographic problem, but it's worst in South Korea. So if banning porn and, you know, declaring pornography to be morally harmful and, and having like a public outcry against porn would have any effect on birth rates, South Korea certainly shouldn't have the lowest birth rates in the fucking world. So that hypothesis has been disproven. Uh, well, what you're not factoring in there, Autist, is that South Korea has a very weird um, social dynamic, even though they've been westernized. I don't know if anybody's ever been around Korean people, like um, uh, how their families work, how the uh, man and woman relationship work. Men are unbelievably like, like cold dominant in the Korean, well, at least they used to be. I don't know how they are now. And the woman is supposed to be, like, absolutely submissive. And now that you have this Western dynamic coming in and interfering with that traditional type of uh, dominant submissive uh, dynamic, uh, you know, it, it's skewing shit up. And many of the folks that are in South Korea are saying, hey, maybe we need to go back to the conservative ways. Maybe we shouldn't have all this fucking weird-ass bukkake fucking weirdo shit that Japan is in. The ass-fuck twins from Japan and, you know, the the GGG girls from fucking uh, uh, Germany. You know, well, Maybe we don't need this shit. And maybe if people get hard up, they'll get so hard up to the point where, I don't know, I want to meet a girl. I want to... I wanna, and, 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 and old uh, turd flinging boy over here is more worried about sex dolls and anime. I mean, you understand? This is why I don't fucking listen to this fucking piece of shit. In fact, the only Western developed country that has a positive fertility rate is Israel. And why? Because the Orthodox Jews are 20% of the population, whereas the Amish are like less than 1% in America. If, if we had 20% Amish in America, we would have a fertility rate like Israel, which is over four. But because our... Well, what, are, what is this guy talking about? Israel is having a major problem. Well, prior to October 7th, Israel has a major problem. You think it's cuckery here in America. The Jewish women over there in Israel have got men submissive as fuck. That's why Tel Aviv is now the gay capital of the world, believe it or not. And the reason is, is because most, I mean, you think it's bad here in America? Over there in secular Israel, a woman can get married to you and divorce. And I, I mean, it's some weird laws over there in Israel, but most of the fucking Israeli women got Israeli men paying them. All right, after a divorce. I mean, that's how fucked up the laws are. All right, so for all those folks that out here are thinking, oh, the Jews, that's how it is over there in secular Israel, dude. That's why when I, anyway, just play this shit. You people don't listen anyway. Who gives a shit? Right? Patri basically, our, we don't have enough patriarchy. 
Israel has enough, 20% of their population is patriarchal, so they have a healthy fertility rate. In America, less than that, one... Well, 20 per, you want you, you know that, that rate he's talking about? Those are the Orthodox Jews that people like this hate, and people like you hate. All right? So this guy's making an argument, because most fucking people that make these fucking kind of incel arguments always blame the Jew on why they uh, don't get laid enough or why they don't get white women or whatever the fuck. I mean, if he's using Jews like, hey, look, they got a fertility and they got this and they got that. I mean, isn't this contradictory? One percent of our population is patriarchal, so we don't. It has jack fucking shit to do with porn or sex dolls or anime, but the fucking trad cucks, it has to be made men's fault. Something has to be done, and it has to be men's fault. So they're like, oh, why are why is nobody having babies? Oh, because of women's rights. Oh, uh, no, it's because of uh, men. Men aren't getting married because of women's rights. No, no, it's... Well, I think that TikTok and all the fucking women that are in their, like, late 30s and early 40s that are out here... I mean, have you seen this? There's, there's a whole bunch of bitches that are, like, putting themselves out there at TikTok... And showing their like sad face and like you know posting captions like, I'm 40 years old, I've got 300 thousand in the bank, I own my own home and I paid it off, I have a car, I I I make six figures and no men want me. All right, you want to know why that is? Is because every woman believes that once they achieve a certain accolade that they deserve a certain level of respect. And what women don't understand is that that doesn't happen to men. Men who make six figures and make all the money, they don't demand that, hey, bitch, you got to respect me. No, they don't. All right? The guys that make that money, they want to get the badass bitches, right? So even, even though they have the money to get the badass bitches, it doesn't mean that because they accomplish this and because they make this money, that they're just going to command some kind of arbitrary respect from somebody who doesn't have these types of accolades. That's not how it works. That's not how it works, you dumb cunts. And that's why you're all fucking alone. And look, I'll be honest with you. Turd flinging monkey. And look, I hate to say this. When I hear an effeminate male voice, it's either nine times out of ten a single mother or some father who was so absentee that mommy was, you know, fucking raising this prick. And I'm not trying to say, like, effeminate, you know, voices are bad. I mean, but when I hear an effeminate voice be so, you know, stern, and like, yeah, yeah, fuck it, you're getting rid of porn and the trad cucks and all this shit. Turd flinging monkey has been around for a long fucking time. And he said the same fucking shit. And... I mean, all he is is, like I said, some fucking loser. I mean, I can tell by his voice. Because let me tell you, if you're if you're getting chicks, you're not you know, you're not gonna have a voice like that. If you're getting chicks, you're not out here uh, uh, getting articles from the Daily Mail so you can piss and moan about because how South Korea wants to have some moral principle because of, of porn. Porn is why men don't get married. We gotta ban porn. And if Jesus we just make Christ. men so sexually frustrated that they're willing to fuck the sluttiest, fattest single mom in the world, then they'll get married and make the babies. Yay, we did it. We solved demographic replacement. It's so tiresome. And it's just this article a, what absolutely. You need to know about South I mean, you know, <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. Ha, Carbato. All right, hold on just a second. If Turd Flinging Monkey is really, like, so passionate about this, why doesn't he show himself? Because this is a social issue. You know, it's like these Viking Kyles and, you know, these fucking people that are, are, are Nazi LARPing in this fucking community. Uh, if you really want to show an example, why don't you show your wife? If you're like, hey, look at this, and like... I mean, why don't, I mean, why don't you show yourself and your wife because you're trying to set an example when it comes to social dynamics and you're, you're like hounding other people based upon whatever your standard is and there's below your standard. What is your standard? I mean, seriously. I mean, why don't, 
or uh, he doesn't have to get doxxed, dude. Why? I mean, this guy is putting a point of emphasis how, hey, it's not fair. It's not a criticism like, hey, women don't make right decisions, because that's my argument. My argument is women shouldn't be in charge of anything. And do I think they're temptresses and, you know, whores and shit? Yeah. But I'll be honest with you. Is it their right to do it? As long as they're not infringing upon anybody's rights, as long as they're paying their taxes and not doing anything illegal. I mean, even though I hate OnlyFans broads and I think they're demeaning themselves and I don't think they should be taken serious, they should be able to do what they want to do. I just don't think that women should be in charge like in fucking uh, government. All right? I mean, that's, that's all there is to it. And by the way, I mean, women have never been a big accomplishment for me. Women have... Never mind. Just play this shit, all right? Yeah. What's you that? cannot view any kind of porn unless you use your social security number. So they they have online tracking already. No. Oh, right. No, they, oh. they're they doing everything the trad cucks want to do, like, to solve the problem. Why are you looking at porn if you're some, you know, Chad that's banging bitches? I mean, why, I, I just, I'm just saying, I mean, why is porn such a point of emphasis? I, I don't get it. If, if, you, if you're if you out here banging bitches, if you're the Chad that everybody needs to listen to, why the fuck do you even give a shit about what, what porn's doing? I mean, good God, man. And you see, there's so many fucking assholes that are no fucking pussy getting idiots like this moron that listen to this crap and and you know what's sad is that there's no father to tell all these disenchanted idiots that are listening to this moron that uh hey son you know this this boy here that i'm listening to he sounds like he's a little effeminate so that's either his mama or he's already been penetrated uh, where the sun don't shine we got to solve the problem say, give through me another banning porn and sex dolls and give me another you know, all the bear. it's the degeneracy. Okay, okay, dipshit. Then riddle me this: If banning porn and degeneracy would solve the demographic crisis, why is South Korea, which has banned porn and degeneracy, has the lowest fertility rate in the entire world? Uh, riddle me this: Why are you so passionate about fucking porn being illegal, you fucking idiot? I mean, obviously, you have access to it. All right, obviously, you're... Uh, why is it so... It's no different. I hate to say this. It's no different than the fucking uh, transgenders and the gays and the fucking uh, drag queens that want to impose their LGBTQ shit on children. I mean, why are you fucking putting yourself on a soapbox for something so degenerate? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make fucking sense. For fuck's sake. Anonymous ghost, I want to bounce around on your... You see what I'm saying? Look at this. Look at this shit. This is what porn gets. I I want you to plunge your top... My uh, Dude, I'm not saying that, Anonymous. You're a sick fucking asshole. All right? Anyway, it just doesn't make any sense. There's so many things to be pissed off about. There's so much things to be passionate about. This guy is talking about porn and how it's being banned and correlating it with fucking uh, fertility rates. Oh, but that's, that's different, TFM. Yeah, I'm a retard. Oh, where's my Jew cum? It's all you're good. All you're good for is sucking Jew cock. You know that, right? That's your uh, only function. Here, here we go. You're just a cup. It's the Jew's fault that this guy can't get laid. You know, there's always a constant with these fucking weirdos. Not only are they effeminate and they love anime and they're addicted to porn, even the... I mean, this is ironic because, by the way, you know who owns most of the pornographic industry? Jews. I mean, why don't you take a look at... Uh, by the way, I think I've even talked about this. One of the biggest guys in internet porn is Fantasy Man Levy. Look up that dude. Fantasy Man Levy. He was the guy that not only produced porn back in the early 90s, but because he monetized porn back in like 94, 95, 96, it was because of him 
and his investments into processing transactions and you know being able to take he's the reason why the porn you know got innovated or the the whole uh, uh, internet got innovated when it came to like fucking e-commerce and shit so how is this guy saying oh you know the what the Jew is he claiming the Jews are taking away the porn I don't get his argument that's why this guy's a fucking idiot and probably the only people that are listening to him are the likes of uh, Eskerman over here. I'm dumped for Jewcock. Great. Anyway, sorry, right. I don't know where that came from. It came from deep from the cockles of my heart. All right. Sorry, I, I got disconnected. Who's who's doing who's choking on Jim Jewcock now? <laughs> uh, uh, well, the the, the, the conservative dollar. right pretty much writ. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, hot take. Uh, those calls from 14 years ago need to more anime, perhaps YouTube poop, to be exact. It needs more Madoka Magica because it was at its peak at the time. Almost forgot. Are we watching Mad All right, shut this. All right, I, I, I'm done with this asshole. All right. Uh, Animus, um... Uh, if this is who you're like watching and listening to, I get why you're a fucking fucked up piece of shit scumbag motherfucker. I, I get it now. All right, I get it. All right, uh, 